40-6, crossbred gilt now on the stick. Lot number is 141, top that, never before. Yeah, the 56-liter uh, sow again uh, just uh, makes them really, really nice. I guess, uh, you know, I can, I don't know how many were in this litter, but uh, uh, this sow would have had the, uh, oh, uh, Olson's uh, bought a gilt out of this sow uh, a year ago. Um, well, uh, right on the money, you know, uh, under the money, I guess I should say, and then she sold in the Plattsburgh Gilt sale for like ten or eleven thousand. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it laid down in uh, Faro the other day. I was told, um, and did a great job. So, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, we're, we're offering a lot of gilts on this uh, this sale, and uh, we have a lot a lot of sows anymore. And you know, we um, there's uh, definitely differences, and uh, some are some are great show gilts, some are both, some are sows. It just but uh, what a, you're always always be looking for stuff out of good sows here, and the 56 litter sows one of those top end ones. Yeah, and this uh, lot 141, she's probably the, the smaller yep. of, of the litter, so longer show window if that's what you're looking for. Uh, and length of body is, is what it takes to be competitive right now in the show ring. And with look and bone and squareness, I think this one can show an awful long time. And like Kyle said, you're making an investment uh, in these females to either uh, resell when you're done showing or put in the sow herd and, and breed to the boar that uh, whatever the flavor of the month is or whatever you like and uh, uh, make yourself a little money after uh, I think this one could be competitive, though, at any level. Lot 141, 40-6.